Hello, it's physios Fran and Kate, and we've got a half-term special workout of the week for you. Michael, one of our occupational therapists, is helping us out this week too. Every day this week, we're going to teach you an exercise. We'll give you a different way you can do the exercise. And when you've done each one, we will help you build a full workout. Exercise number one is squats. Here's Michael to show us how. Are you ready? Let's go. Squats work your leg and bottom muscles really hard. Our first squat is called the monkey squat or parallel squat. Stand with your feet a bit wider than your hips, your toes pointing forwards and then slowly squat down, bending your knees and pushing your bottom backwards. Watch Michael do it first if you're not sure what to do. Reaching your arms out in front helps you to keep your balance. Try and imagine you're going to sit on a chair behind you. This will help you push your bottom backwards. Make sure you go slowly so the squats are really controlled. If this is difficult, here's Michael showing you how to use a chair to help you until you feel a bit stronger. Our next squat is called a sumo squat and it's very similar to our first squat, but we stand with our feet wider apart. Look at Michael's feet here. They are wider and his toes are slightly turned out. When you're ready, slowly squat down, keeping your knees wide and push your bottom backwards. You can use your arms to balance just like in our first squat. Our third squat is a bit like the last one. You keep your feet nice and wide but this time you're going to keep your body a bit more upright. This is called a plie squat. The next one is quite tricky and you might need to practice this. It's sometimes harder in one direction than the other. This is the curtsy squat. It's quite difficult to explain, so make sure you watch Michael really carefully if you're not sure what to do. Step one foot across and behind the other, bending your front knee. Lift your arms wide and high as you do this. Alternate your curtsies from side to side. Our fifth and final squat is a bit faster and you might need a bit more energy. Watch Michael doing some jump squats and then try and join in. Make sure you bend your knees when you land, ready to leap up as high as you can for the next one. Now see how many of each squat you can do. Well done, you work really hard. We'll see you all tomorrow for exercise number two.